What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! Okay, we're coming back to Eddie Vedder. Yes, indeed. Eddie Vedder fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. This is a request from Jamai Vu. Uh, Jamai wanted to see me react to this song. It is Eddie Vedder putting his spin on the Cat Stevens tune, Trouble. So this is a cover. Now, have I heard the song before? I I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I'm not sure if I've heard this song before or not. I might have. Um, don't laugh. I, I, I'm going to see the American Pie references coming at me left and right right now. I went to Bandcamp for a number of years. And I, I, I loved it. I loved Bandcamp. Bandcamp was fun. Um... Learned a lot, learned a lot uh, in about music and about life <laughs> uh, in band camp. Uh, but good times were had, definitely. Now, in band camp, you have you know campfires and you know Cat Stevens songs. You know, he's one of those artists that you know you'll hear played at you know campfires and stuff like that. So trouble. Now the name doesn't sound familiar. But I didn't know these songs by name, so it's possible I may have heard the song. I don't know if I have or not. But I can tell you for certain that I have not heard Eddie Vedder do it. So even I if even if I'm even if I bleh. So even if I'm familiar with the song, I haven't heard Eddie Vedder do it. So that there's there's the hook right there, that, as we say in the biz. That's that's the catch right there. That's the truth. So We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Uh, this was posted by Rugs1996, and the video has 569,153 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Eddie Vedder, Trouble, Los Angeles, 1998. So this is live. Okay, so this is when he was doing his solo stuff live. Okay, cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. <laughs> does not sound familiar uh this is not one of the songs that you know we would hear by the campfires and stuff like that so this is definitely a new song for me in total uh how accurate this is to the original i couldn't tell you i have no idea if he's taking any liberties or not um all i can say is it sounds pretty good pretty good is it my cup of tea no it's not but it's not unpleasant it's not displeasing um 
Nothing sounds bad. Nothing sounds out of tune. Nothing sounds sour. So, so far, so good. Let, let's, let's see where this goes. Trouble, oh, trouble, move away. I have seen your face and it's too much for me today. Yeah, that little accent to close right there, that to close the phrase, just with that hard accented attack. That was nice. Kind of break things up a bit. Um, I've always said when it comes to acoustic guitar playing, the left hand is important. Don't get me wrong. You need the left hand to be able to form the chords, form the notes. I get it, okay? Left hand is important. However, when it comes to acoustic playing, I feel the right hand is far more important. Because the right hand is what's going to dictate things like that, where you have the accents. You That's where your volume is going to be controlled. That's where your tempo is going to be controlled. That's where the feel is going to be controlled. That's where everything else is going to be controlled other than note selection. The left hand is literally just doing that. The left hand is literally just doing note and chord selection. And if you think about it, Chord selection is really just note selection done on multiple strings. So, really, it's just note selection that the left hand is in charge of. Important? Yes. More important than everything else? No. Definitely not. you got to have a good feel in the right hand if you want to pull off acoustic guitar playing. And I've always said that about Eddie Vedder. I've always been very impressed with his right hand, his strumming technique, the way he's holding the pick. Uh, the way he's using his wrist as opposed to using his arm. He's just using his wrist to play, which is very important. Um, people that, uh, guitar players that use the whole arm, I worry about them getting like, you know, tendonitis in their elbows and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, it's got to be careful, you know. Using the wrist, minimal amount of energy to create the exact same sound. I, I like it when the guitar players use proper technique with the right hand. So, really nice work. Vocally, sounds really good. Uh, very typical of Eddie Vedder's style. Nothing all that special really happening here as far as the vocal delivery goes. Uh, nothing that stands out as being amazing or anything like that. It's just, it's very typical Eddie Vedder delivery. So, anyway, let's keep going here. Let's finish this out. And torn. I'm shattered and lost and worn, so shocking to see, too shocking to see. Trouble, oh, trouble, please be kind. I don't want to fight and I haven't got a lot of time. Thank you. Oh, that sounds good. Awesome. So he's going to drop D for the next song. Okay, that's cool. All right. Um, I've said pretty much everything I need to say. I'll just I'll we'll do a we'll do a review, but it's gonna be quick. I promise you. Um, I'll see you there. Well, there you go, folks. That was Eddie Vedder putting his spin on the Cat Stevens song "Trouble." This was a request from Jamai Vu. Okay, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, I am going to give that a 7.4. Yep, 7.4. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? 
Okay, this is going to be quick. This is going to be really quick. I've already said uh, during the course of the video everything I needed to say. I'm just going to recap really quick. Vocally, it's very typical of Eddie Vedder's delivery, very typical of Eddie Vedder's style. Uh, it didn't sound like he took any liberties uh, with his own vocal style. Now, uh, as far as what Cat Stevens did, I don't know. I, I don't, to the best of my knowledge, I've never heard that song before. I've never heard the original. It did not sound familiar. So, did he take any liberties? I don't know. I have no idea if he did or not. If he did, great. Kudos to him. It sounded wonderful. If he did not, and it sounded exactly like Cat Stevens, could have fooled me because I, I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you. But it did sound good. What Eddie Vedder did vocally sounded just fine. Okay? Um, this came down to his guitar playing, honestly. And like I've always said about Eddie Vedder's guitar playing when it comes to acoustic guitar, um, and it, when it comes to acoustic guitar in general, the left hand's important, don't get me wrong. That's where you're going to get your notes and your notes selection from. But ultimately, when it comes to acoustic guitar in particular, the right hand is far more important. That's where you're going to get your attacks. That's where you're going to get a lot of your dynamic control. That's where you're going to get um, a lot of your mood and feel and tone from is from the right hand. Not just how hard you attack, but where on the string you attack. Uh, are you palm muting it? You know, how far up on the neck are you? How far up, you know, how, are you directly over the hole for the body? Are you closer to the bridge? Are you closer to the neck? That's all going to be very dependent. How are you strumming? Are you, are you holding your pick tight? Are you heaving it loose? Are you feathering or are you hard strumming? You know, are you using a pick at all? Are you using fingers? If you're using fingers, are you doing individual plucking or are you strumming with your thumb or with the back of your fingernails? I don't know. It, that, But you see, that's where the right hand comes into play. That's where the right hand is going to help you determine the type of sound that you get out of the guitar. So left hand is important. Don't get me wrong, but the right hand really is what makes the guitar playing special when it comes to acoustic playing. And I've always been very complimentary of Eddie Vedder on his right hand. It's very well trained. He really understands and has a good, solid grasp on how to play an acoustic. Is it anything super impressive? I wouldn't go that far, but it, it does sound really good. What he does sounds really good. And this is why it's getting the really good score of 7.4. Um, it's a cover. I've never heard the original, so I don't know how accurately he played it. But what I heard sounded good. I really have no complaints. So, 7.4, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base, and become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good and it will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.